Right now in Canada, there are 61 boiled water advisories, all of them on reserves, half of them for more than a dozen years and one for 20 years. There have been children that have grown up in Canada that don't know what it's like to turn on a tap and get a fresh glass of water. Recently, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced that his government wasn't going to be able to keep their campaign promise to lift all boil water advisories by March 2021 due to the pandemic. If Trudeau or any other wealthy family in Canada had any issues with their water, it would be resolved overnight. So why do the First Nations families have to wait? This is not my Canada, and it shouldn't be yours either, and I'll tell you why. Canada has a Disaster Assistance Response Team, also known as DART. DART has been deployed across the globe in times of disaster to provide medical care, clean drinking water, yes, you heard that right, clean drinking water, engineering capability, and good communication. Where is the DART now? Our First Nations families have been ignored for long enough. We need to do something about this. And I want to highlight people that are doing just that. Mark Marsolis Mewagabo has started a socially conscious business called the Birch Bark Coffee Company. He takes the proceeds from the sales of his coffee, buys water filtration systems, installs them in First Nations homes for free. I'm Lori Bowen and you're watching the Water is Life documentary series. Did you know that there are families living in Ontario a mere few hours down the 401 from Ottawa, that do not have access to clean water and haven't for decades. Many Indigenous children have grown up on reserves, always having to boil their water before they can use it for drinking, washing and cooking. This is unacceptable in a country as polite and wealthy as Canada. Can you imagine being a single parent having to lug large jugs of water home so that your family can drink water, wash in it, and cook with it. Many of us haven't ever taken the time to ponder this dilemma. We take having clean drinking water at our disposal for granted. The truth is, water is a dirty little secret. A Canadian government study from 2009 to 2011 found that out of 807 reserve water systems, 39% were classified high risk, 34 at medium risk, 27 at low risk. When Mark Marsole Nawegabo, a First Nations leader and entrepreneur, found out about the water crisis happening to First Nations people all across Canada, he knew he could not stand by waiting for the government to do something. Mark is a man of action, but how does one man make a difference? Despite the government's promises and intentions towards reconciliation, Mark knew from past experience not to count on the Canadian government. A leader in the Indigenous community and an entrepreneur, Mark participated in the powwow pitch, similar to the popular Dragon's Den, but for Indigenous business owners. Birch Bar Coffee Company is Mark's answer to this problem. He took his entrepreneurial and philanthropic spirit and combined the two to not only start a business, but start a movement. Imagine a business that is socially motivated towards the betterment of all. Mark uses some of the profits from the sales of his amazing coffee to allow him to purchase and install proper water filtration systems for Indigenous families living in reserves in Ontario, Canada. His goal is to reach the entire country so that every Canadian citizen has access to clean water. We hope that this documentary will help Mark not only sell more coffee, but also to continue educating us all about water and how our municipalities clean our water using chlorine that has been linked to cancer and other problems. We stand with Mark as privileged white people who agree that the Canadian government has been wasting time and doing very little towards reconciliation with our First Nations families. 
Mark is such a powerful and inspiring voice from the community with great insight into this issue. We as filmmakers are privileged and members of the majority. Want to take this opportunity to take a step back and use our privilege and artistry to give a voice to the less privileged and let their voices and cries be heard. Indigenous people in Canada continue to live in third world-like conditions and Mark's goal is to educate the world that Birch Bar Coffee Company can and will make a difference, one coffee bag at a time. Mark was inspired by his community, birch trees, and the connection the trees had to his indigenous heritage. Canada is regarded as one of the richest countries in the world and ranked as one of the United Nations top places in the world to live. Yet indigenous families continue to live in the third world like conditions. It is estimated that thousands of people continue to go without clean drinking water. And even more frightful is that this has been ongoing for decades. In Canada, there are over 634 communities and indigenous people make up an estimated 5% of the population. This is a national crisis that should never happened in the first place. Hi, I'm Lori Bowen, and I would like to thank Vicki Templin, a grade 7 8 teacher from Toronto, Ontario, for teaching her class about this very issue using the short documentary as a teaching tool. Teachers and students from kindergarten to university, please join us in our letter writing campaign, and especially Algonquin College staff and students. Birch Bark Coffee is available on your campus, and your Prime Minister lives in your city, and Mark is an alumni of your school. You won the Spread the Net Challenge a few years ago, issued by Rick Mercer. So let's step up once again and join us in this letter writing campaign and challenge to sell out Birch Bark Coffee Company. The families from Nescatanka First Nations are living at the Victoria Inn in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and could use some letters of love and encouragement. We are asking every student in Canada to write two letters, one to our Prime Minister and the other to a Nescatanka First Nations family, letting them know that we hear them that we're listening, and that we care. Miigwech.